So this is Tatiana. She wants to share her testimony. And Tatiana, can you tell us where you're from? I'm originally from El Salvador. I used to live in New York, and now we live here in Kennewick. For how long you guys been li living here in Kennewick now? Two years and a half. Two years and a half. Awesome. So Tatiana, can you tell us how did you go how did you come about our church? How did you hear about us? Well, my husband used to come here before. And at uh, the beginning, I didn't like it. I thought, put it down. <laughs> I thought that the girls dressed up too much. So I thought that, yeah, so I thought that they um, were more into fashion than into passion. So I didn't want to come. So at the beginning, um, you know, Heather was trying to push me to come. And I was like, no, I don't like it. So I came a few times, and I still didn't like it. Yeah, so after I started to come a little bit more, and then I started to know more of the girls, and then I like it. So I remember you mentioned to me that uh, you kind of judged girls according to the looks, not knowing them, right? Was that true? Yeah, after I started, you know, coming more and talking to them, I saw how they were very into, you know, passion and stuff. And, you know, I thought that I saw that I was very, you know, wrong for you. And, you know, like not talking about them, but thinking that they were not good enough. Okay, so uh, how, when did you get saved? When, the, when did Jesus Christ touch your life personally? When did that happen? It was last year when the pastor Elijah Water came. I think it was in the beginning of, of last year. That's when I got saved. I remember he was, you know, calling people to the front. I was sitting in the pews, and um, at the beginning, you know, I wasn't sure what was going on, so I was just crying and crying. And I knew I had to come to the front. So I came, you prayed for me, and that's how I got saved. Yeah. Okay. So you experienced conviction of the Holy Spirit, and you felt like you need to come to the front and give your life to Jesus Christ. Amazing. Awesome. So Tatiana, tell us how did your everyday life change after you gave your life to Jesus Christ? What, what changed in your personal life? I started reading the Bible every day before I didn't read the Bible, and I started um, uh, to see um, how, you know, I wasn't bad before, but I started uh, to see how um, we do stuff sometimes that is not too bad, but for Jesus it is, and that when we do that stuff, we hurt him, so that's how I started, you know, uh, seeing, like, I was, you know, doing stuff um, that was hurting him, and I felt so bad, so I started talking to my family, to my friends, and to know them, you know, my experience, and telling them that sometimes we do stuff. Uh, and we think that, you know, it's not a big deal, but for Jesus it is. And we hurt him with that stuff that we do. Yeah. So you started to share your faith and evangelize to your friends and relatives, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I know you mentioned to me that your marriage also got healed afterwards. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, and, you know, at that time we were struggling with, you know, stuff with my husband. And after we started coming, you know, to to church and, you know, um, listening to some podcasts and talking to people that, you know, was in church, uh, our marriage was a store, uh, no, a store, right? Yeah, that's the word, I guess. Restored. Yeah, a store. <laughs> and uh, so after um, everything started, you know, coming, like being better and better, so it was good, yeah. That's amazing. Actually, me and Vlad, we're very close to them, and we see how much their marriage, God restored their marriage. Now they are actually reaching out to, um, to different couples, and now they have something to share, an example. They're, they're a great example for other couples. So Tatiana, can you tell us uh, what's your goal um, concerning the church and your future and the vision of the church as a follower of Jesus Christ? Uh, yeah, to have, you know, our own home group one day so we can bring, you know, more couples to church. And maybe there are people or couples that are, you know, dealing with problems like we were before. So we can, you know, talk to them and tell them that, you know, when you come to Jesus, uh, you know, everything is better and you can, you know, solve your problems. Yeah, so bring more people to Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you. Uh, uh, so, and the last question we have for you. What is your advice to the people who do not know Jesus Christ yet or they feel like they need to make this step toward Christ but they feel like something is holding them back? Uh, don't stop seeking for God. You know, try to come to church. Sometimes people invite us and we're like, you know, always make excuses. And, you know, that's the devil, and he's a liar. So, you know, try to come to church. Uh, hang out with people that come to church too. Not, you know, you have to be away, you know, stay away from, you know, bad people that, you know, it's not good for you. And, yeah, don't stop seeking for God because God wants to, you know, you to be better. And, you, you know, you're going to make him, you know, happy when you come to church.